Welcome to Celebrity Home Shopping. I'm your host, Samir, and I'm happy to have me. On today's episode, we're taking a look inside Tyra Banks' recently listed Pacific Palisades, California home. Let's take a look inside. Here's what we love about this house. We love that there are no other neighbors in the area with rooftop decks. The last thing you'd want to do is come up here to have a maximum chill lump sesh and have to make small talk with your annoying neighbor, Jerry. Inside, we love the indoor-outdoor living. We love that there are no exposed cables connected to the TV. If you invite me over and I see exposed wires, and then you invite me over in the future and I reject that invitation, just know it was because of the exposed wires. We also love this brick wall. This will be great to bang your head on after you calculate how much money you spend on iced coffee every month. We love this booth area in the kitchen. We love the triple fridge. We love this carpet on the stairs. Stairs can be slippery. Stairs can be dangerous. A little carpet allows you to get a good grip so you can go up these nicely and arrive safely to your destination, which is upstairs. We love the BAW in the stairwell. Big ass window. We love the WAH upstairs. White ass hallway. Some people prefer galley hallways, but the truth of the matter is, is you'll get more pleasure out of wide. Let's take a moment to look at that view back there. That's a vibe vibe. In the main bedroom, we love the carpet and we love the ocean view. Waking up to an ocean view is the third best way to wake up. In the main bathroom, we love the full length mirror. This is way better than the little framed mirrors they'll usually put next to the sinks. So you can catch every angle in here while you're showering and getting ready or when you're having a group activity. We love this little cubby by the tub. This will keep these things off the floor and not collecting dust down there. In the backyard, I'm honestly not sure how we feel about this separate pool area. Do we like it or do we not like it? Let me know in the comments, I'm not sure. And finally, we love the roof deck. This is a vibe vibe. You'll be spending all of your time up here in this home. There's this lump area that looks like this. There's this lump area that looks like this with a fire pit. There's this massive hot tub. Honestly didn't know hot tubs came in venti size. There's at least a 5 BMS in this thing. Since there are no neighbors around, let's just say you could have a lot of fun up here. And finally, we like that there's enough room to literally dance with the stars up here. Here's what we hate about this house. We hate the gravel in the entrance. This is grab hell. We don't even like saying the word gravel. We hate all the steps it takes just to get inside. This is a vacation home and not a who can climb the Empire State Building the Fastest contest. I'd rather be catapulted than have to take all these steps to go inside. We hate this beaded curtain that separates the front door to the living room. This is about 97% deranged. You're not fooling anybody with this. And we would have been okay with just walking into the living room. Just be yourself. We hate these grooves in the wall of the living room. Again, stop trying to be a health and wellness studio and just be a living room. Not to mention how much dust will get in these crevices over the years. And who wants to clean them? Not me. We hate the projector in the family room. Again, stop trying to be a theater. You are the family room. They have really large TVs now, so you could just put one of those on the wall. You don't need to be all professional on us in here. Oh, what's that sound? That sound means it's time to talk about the chandeliers. And we've got some very special ones for you in this home. We hate this one that looks like a porcupine. I know I said that wrong and I was going to erase it, but it was kind of fun, so I kept it. We hate this one that belongs in the Plaza Hotel. We hate this one that belongs at your Aunt Gertrude's house. We hate these that look like bird cages. The fact that they put three of them hurts my heart even more. You'd think by the time they put up the third one, they'd tell themselves, maybe this isn't such a good idea. And we hate this one in the dining room. It looks like someone glued together a bunch of coasters you bought from the gift shop on your trip in the Bahamas. Let's proceed. In the kitchen, we hate these shelves. We hate this clear fan in the main bedroom. While waking up and seeing the ocean is the third best way to wake up, waking up and seeing dust on your fan is the first worst way to wake up. In the main bathroom, we hate this frilly chandelier. I saved this one from the first batch because there were too many of them in a row earlier and I didn't want to hurt the homies hearts like that. This one looks like an old Victorian dress, and I don't want to think about Victorian dresses while I bathe. Especially because they probably didn't bathe that much back then. We hate how tight it is in the main closet. How am I supposed to practice walking down the runway in here as America's Next Top Model in such a tiny space? In the backyard, we hate these three tiny window slits. We hate that these chairs are facing the wall. They're also preventing us from frolicking in this grassy area. 
finally on the roof deck, we ate how much time it's going to take to fluff all these pillows up here. And I'm not going to say it, I'm not going to say it, I'm not going to say it. Alright. We hate these two hell trees. Lord, please forgive me. I don't know what I did to deserve these two hell trees, but I won't do it again. This home ranked three and a half out of five on the homies home ranking scale. As always, welcome to the stats after show where we take a deeper dive into the stats. Gave this a three and a half ranking for a few reasons. It was pretty move-in ready. Probably wouldn't change anything except get rid of all the chandeliers and take down that beaded curtain. The lot was kind of small but expected for this area. And the view was obviously pretty nice. But there wasn't anything crazy special with it. That's 6.995 million, not milio. Milio is not a unit of currency. I'm not sure why that's there. Matt Damon just sold his Pacific Palisades home for 18 million. But that place was double the size of this at about 13,000 square feet which puts it at about $1,300 a square foot, so this price is pretty good and should probably sell pretty quickly. Although it did look like the biggest home in the neighborhood, and you never want to be the biggest home in the neighborhood. Oh yeah, I brought back the old format for this episode. Honestly, it was a lot more work, and I'm not a very good video editor, so I think we'll keep it like this for now. But thank you everyone so much for watching the videos on YouTube. The homies are doing amazing there, and I hope we continue to grow. Be sure to subscribe, link in bio if you haven't yet. As always, a super special thank you to our Patreon Ice Coffee supporters. That's patreon.com slash Samir. With your support, I can be a winner and have a $5 iced coffee every day, so thank you. I want to give a super special thank you to our Patreon Plus producers. There's Spencer, Zachary, Melissa, Dan, Teddy, Megan, Lauren, Henry Gretchen, Julie, Bob, Bob, Ellen, Paul, Alyssa, Anne, Colin, Mike, and Emmy. Thank you so much. Here are all our Patreon producers. Thank you all super, super so much. See you all next episode.